Hi, this is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop, and in this video I want to explain what is domain forwarding and how you would set that up. So here's the example. I bought this domain name, ChristinaHills.name, and I didn't know what I wanted to do with it, but when they released these new .name extensions, I decided, well, I'm just going to go ahead and grab it. But I don't know if I actually want to build a whole website around it because I already have ChristinaHills.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up domain forwarding so when anybody types in ChristinaHills.name, it will automatically redirect the person to ChristinaHills.com. So first off, before I begin, what am I looking at here? I'm looking at a domain name splash page. Meaning, once you purchase a domain name, let's say you buy it at GoDaddy. In this instance, I bought it at Domain Name Queen, which is just a, a version of GoDaddy. So once you buy a domain name, you will see this kind of uh, splash page. And that just means the domain name has been purchased, somebody owns it, and they're not doing anything with it yet. So there's no reason to just leave it looking like this. I might as well get some value out of the domain name I bought and have it forward. So this is something that you can do when you buy domain names, you don't know what you want to do with them yet, you might as well forward them to your own site. And this is something that is very easy to do and you do it once. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm logged in to my domain registrar Right, the domain registrar is where you register your domain name. And I'm under the domain details. So your domain registrar account might look like this. It might look a little bit different. How do you get this? Well, you go to a place like GoDaddy and you sign up and you buy a domain name. And once you buy a domain name, you get an account. So I'm logged into my account. And I want to come down here to the forwarding because I want to set up the forwarding. So I'm going to click on manage and up pops this little dialog box and I'm, it says you are not forwarding this domain so I'm going to add one now. So in here I'm going to type www.christinahills.com because that's where I want my other domain name to forward to. And if I had ChristinaHills.net or ChristinaHills.tv or these other versions of my name that I bought, I can set up forwarding for all of them. So I'm going to type in where I want it to go to and I'm going to click Add. So now it says it's it's been done and I'm going to click Save. Now before I click Save, let me go back for one moment. I'm just going to leave these defaults. So it had already selected this, it already selected Forward Only, it already selected that. I'm just going to leave those and um, so I can click Cancel because I'd already done it. So now I want to click Save. So it says your request has been submitted. Changes may take a few moments to take effect. So can close out that little dialog box and uh, I don't see it yet so why don't I refresh my browser and when you refresh it might be here it might be over here it depends what browser you're using so now I see the forwarding is on so now I'll copy this into a new browser so you can see it so I'm going to open up a new tab in my browser and I'm going to paste this in and it has not taken effect yet sometimes it takes a little while to uh, propagate so if you don't see it immediately just give it a moment I can try another browser and I see here let me paste that in it is now working. Right? So sometimes your browser remembers 
sort of the old thing that you had. So if you don't see it right away, maybe close your browser, open your browser again, and um, it should start working. So maybe I will try that. So let me try it again, see if it's redirecting yet. Okay, it did that. Did you catch that? Let me do it again one more time slowly. I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to type in ChristinaHills.name, right, the, do the domain name that I bought. I know this is an odd extension. You may never have heard of it, but I bought it because I didn't want anybody else to get it. So I type in ChristinaHills.name. I hit Enter. And now it takes me to ChristinaHills.com. So instead of seeing that old splash page that I showed you before, now somebody types it in, they come here. Now watch one more thing. If someone types in ChristinaHills.name forward slash contact, right? When I hit enter, it takes you to christinahills.com forward slash contact. So what I'm saying here is what's great about this domain forwarding is even if you type in any kind of uh, page on the site, the domain forwarding, once you have that set up, will forward it to the site that you're forwarding it to. I know that's a mouthful, but in any case, if you buy lots of domain names but you really only have one website set up yet, set up domain forwarding and take advantage of in case someone should type in that other name, then at any time in the future if I want to actually build a different site in ChristinaHills.name I could do that and just take off this domain forwarding. So that's it. That's how you set up domain forwarding. When you buy a domain name and you want to forward it to somewhere else, it can either be one of your own websites or some other different website. It's pretty easy to do it and you do it once inside your domain registrar and then you forget about it. Setting up domain forwarding is that easy. And here's the other great thing. If you are a little tentative about doing this yourself, just call your domain registrar. Like if you're using GoDaddy or whoever you're using, just call them on the phone and have them walk you through domain forwarding. This is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop.